Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mahpal Muhtarana. I am a biology teacher of Nazarbayev Intellectual School of Astana. Welcome to my lesson of biology. Today we want to talk about anatomy, especially anatomy part which is called digestive system. What is digestion? Today all our students and all our teachers will know about digestion part which participate in digestion and what kind of nutrients we should digest by our body. First of all, we want to ask some question. What is digestion and why digestion is essential? How we know digestion is helps to uh, digest large molecules to the uh, small molecules. We have a different kind of organic things like uh, proteins, fats, carbohydrates and another things and another things. That all organic things is nearly to our organism, and therefore this large molecule should be digested by our body to uh, small molecules, which should be absorbed by, by our cells. Here you can see breakup of food. Uh, there is a, a lot of things which is nearly to us. We have uh, some kind of organic things like a protein, fats and carbohydrates which should be digested. Proteins mostly it's a polymers and it should be digested, it consists from polypeptides and it should be digested to amino acids, to the monomers. Mm, carbohydrates, starch or glycogen or another thing, the mm, polymers too, for that reason it should be digested to monomers like a glucose uh, like a glucose, fructose, uh, or another things, or galactose. The, there is all is um, monomers, and third one is about fat, lipids, fat, lipids, triglycerides. All of them is a polymer. They should be digested to fatty acids and glycerol. Here you can see that um, most of the food consists from insoluble molecules. Uh, they should be digested to small molecules and should be absorbed by, um, absorbed by blood. But interesting things, for that reason, we should have uh, different um, enzymes. Today we will talk about enzymes too. Which enzymes participate, what's happened in each part of digestive system, and what's happened with organic things in each part. And uh, you can see that in digestion, we have uh, some reaction which help to us provide digestion all, all the time. It's mostly hydrolysis. This reaction called hydrolysis, when we, uh, we can add the water and drop uh, large molecules to small molecules to do molecules soluble. Last lesson we talked about types of nutrients and uh, now we can repeat something about nutrients. First of all we can talk about carbohydrates that it's uh, we have a uh, carbohydrates like um, uh, monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides. Uh, here you can see carbohydrates molecules which consist of a lot of molecules like uh, polysaccharides. These polysaccharides all the time digested by some enzymes to one sugar molecule, which is called monomer, or maybe monosaccharides, which is glucose, fructose, glucose, fructose, galactose. Um, this is a monosaccharides. These small sugar molecules are used in body to release energy and make the body work. They give us, give, these carbohydrates give to us energy. Uh, now another part or another kind of organic things it's a proteins and uh, proteins uh, we have a uh, different uh, polymers of proteins proteins molecules should be digested to amino acid this is a monomers of proteins we know that in our world we have a uh, 20 kinds of amino acids and we should know that I mean these amino acids like a uh, uh, building material and uh, it's helped to us to build something in our cells and also it's helped to us grow, uh, helps to sell to grow and also it's helped to uh, our body repair itself. Third organic 
things, it's a fat. One of the important uh, part of organic things, fat consists. Fat, mostly you can see there is a, uh, a fat um, polymer, which is triglyceride. Triglyceride consists from glycerol and, fa and fatty acids. The important, uh, importance of fat, it's uh, they give to us uh, energy. It's a uh, long store energy to our body. And certainly it's a um, uh, take part in uh, take part in different kind of process and in phospholipid in cell membrane of cell we have a um, uh, fat too which is important too now we are talking we are want to talk about enzymes what is enzymes and what is they mostly help to digestive system here you can see from the picture that uh, one molecule, for example, carbohydrates molecule. And what happens with this molecule by enzymes? Here you can see that enzymes, it's like a sneeze. And they help to us to, di to digest something. For example, proteins. If you want to digest, uh, if our body want to digest proteins, they use protease. Protease is a kind of enzymes which uh, drop or break down proteins to small molecules. Another thing is about starch and carbohydrates. If, you, if we imagine that we have a carbohydrate, starch or glycogen, and other polymers of carbohydrates, we use enzymes which are called carbohydrates. They break down carbohydrates to small part too. And third one is a fat. For fat, we have a mostly, uh, if you have a big fat, this fat should become a fatty drops. And for that things, we have important things which called bile, which have, we have this bile in our gallbladder. Another uh, interesting things for this uh, small or drop of fat should be digested by enzymes too. This kind of enzymes we call lipase, which digest this fat droplets, droplets to fatty acid and to fatty acid and glycerol. And now we want to talk about organs of digestive system. Organs of digestive system dividing for two groups, alimentary canal and accessory canal, which is, which is very important in our body. Alimentary canal mostly is the main canal of digestive system. It, uh, there is uh, some organs like a uh, mouse, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. We have uh, additional organs too, which not directly participate in digestive system, but which help to digest uh, different organic things. Such kind of organs we call accessory organs. Accessory organs, it's a salivary glands, pancreas, gallbladder, and liver. This is the accessory organs. Alimentary and access accessory organs. Here you can see human digestive system. There, are, there is all digestive organs which participate in digestive system. Uh, here we can uh, see alimentary and accessory organs too. Alimentary, uh, uh, first we can see mouse cavity, then esophagus, pharynx firstly, then esophagus, then stomach, then small intestine, then large intestine, then rectum, and anus. Uh, to the accessory organs, we have a salivary glands, which we can see in mouse cavity. Then near the, after the stomach, we have a gallbladder, liver, and pancreas, which is important too in digestive system. And now we will talk about each part of digestive system and what kind of um, function they will do. First of all, first of all, we want to talk about mouse cavity. What is the function of mouse cavity and what kind of process will provide it in mouse cavity? Uh, first function of mouse cavity is mechanical digestion. Mechanical digestion will be provided by teeth because teeth break down food, uh, break up food. And the second kind of digestion is a chemical digestion. Chemical digestion, it should be done by enzymes. 
Now on mouse cavity we have an enzyme which is called amylase, salivary amylase. Um, the function of salivary amylase, uh, salivary amylase digests uh, starch or glycogen, different uh, polymers of carbohydrates. Uh, it can be done by salivary amylase and these all things should be all uh, complex carbohydrates should be uh, break down to maltose which is disaccharide and everything should be done by salivary amylase next things in our mouth cavity we have a mucus which protects soft lining of digestive system and uh, by mucus our um, slow um, swallowing will be more easy uh, and another thing uh, this mucus have some properties like a uh, this mucus can kill bacteria or non-useful things in our body. Uh, this, uh, this information, uh, all information about mouse cavity and what's happened in our mouse cavity. Next things here you can see how work, how will work amylase, uh, salivary amylase. Uh, we repeat again that salivary amylase break down starch uh, to maltose break down polysaccharides to disaccharides uh, and this salivary amylase uh, secretes by salivary glands uh, and also I want to add that in our organism we have amylase 2 which is pancreas amylase which um, uh, it's pancreas should secrete this pancreatic amylase to small intestine but we will talk about this later now we want to talk about uh, mouse cavity and about function of everything. Next part of uh, digestive system is uh, pharynx. Uh, the main function of pharynx is a swelling. Here you can see the picture where you can see the swelling. Um, uh, all the time when you sit at home or another, our parents or another uh, people can say don't talk when you eat. Why it's so important? It's really important because when we, we eat and uh, try to talk about something, it's difficult because we have an epiglottis between pharynx and, um, uh, and larynx. Larynx is mostly participate in, in gas exchange system. It means that sometimes epiglottis should be close that larynx, uh, that, uh, that nutrition which, uh, that nutrients or that food which we eat, should couldn't go to the larynx to the gas exchange system but all the time if uh, if we sit and talk it a lot it means that that kind of food can go to our gas exchange system and then we can have some cough which is not so good okay uh, there is a, from this picture you can see epiglottis which uh, like a which is very close to uh, larynx and after larynx we have a trachea and next part after the epiglottis we have a uh, after epiglottis we have a esophagus which is important part uh, esophagus what's happened in esophagus first of all it's a uh, there is a mucus too and uh, function of esophagus mostly swelling too and esophagus connect stomach and mouse cavity together. Next part, peristalsis. It's mostly uh, consists from the muscles and the squeezing action of muscles that, that is used to move food along the gut all the time. Peristalsis it's like a um, toothpaste all the time it's work like this uh, during the and by peristals uh, all food should uh, move from one part to another part of our body, of, esop of esophagus or of different kind of intestines, how, how muscles is work. Mechanical digestion. First of all, now we want to repeat about mouse cavity, what's happened in mouse cavity. We say that first a breakup of food, digestive starch, Mucus kill germs or kill bacteria and uh, moisten food. Important things which happen in mouth cavity. 
Next part or important part of digestive system is the stomach. Uh, stomach, it's a, a stomach located after the esophagus, and there are some liquid which called hydrochloric acid. Our stomach full of hydro hydrochloric acid. First function of hydrochloric acid, they kill bacteria. Another function of hydrochloric acid, it means that there we have uh, some useful enzymes which help to us to digest. Uh, different things. Stomach it's mostly consists from the muscles, like a muscle ba ba back and all the time it's contract and uh, extend and it's help to digest food. In stomach we have uh, enzymes which call it pepsin. This pepsin all, all the time work in pH 2. It means in acidic environment. This acidic environment we have in our stomach because of hydrochloric acid. Here you can see what kind of function we have uh, in stomach. First of all, uh, disinfected food. It means kill bacteria by hydrochloric acid where pH is 2. Next, food storage. Uh, it means that in stomach we can save 2 liters of food. It means that our stomach can be, it's like a strange, uh, like a stretch and for that reason uh, uh, it can be full, uh, like uh, two liters of food can be uh, inside of stomach. And next thing is about that uh, stomach can digest proteins. We know that proteins is uh, another organic thing which, is, which can be polymers and these polymers uh, should be break down by pepsin to peptide, which is important too. Here you can see the structure of the stomach. And uh, there are a kind of enzymes which called protease, which participate in protein um, digestion or in protein, which participate in digestion of proteins. And the protease enzymes, it's a um, pepsin. And also we have another enzymes, which is in our pancreas, which called trypsin. Stomach. First of all, what's happened in stomach? We, um, our stomach or stomach, uh, first kill um, microbacteria, uh, microorganisms. Next, it's a break up food. Third, it's digest proteins, and fourth, it's store food. Next part is our in of our lesson. It's about small intestine, under the small intestine we have a uh, under the stomach we have a small intestine which is important too. The uh, small intestine are roughly same 7 meters long and inside of stomach we have a, some kind of things which called villi. Uh, I can show you from the picture. The most important thing is that uh, stomach we divide for the two parts. First part we call diadenium. You can see that there is a part of diadenium where we have a different way. First way it will be from the liver. Uh, liver gives some things to gallbladder and there are one way from the gallbladder to the diadenium. And another way will be from the pancreas small intestine. First of all, uh, about small intestine, we want to talk about what's happened in, uh, not just, a, yep, we can talk about what's happened with the uh, additional organs. First of all, we all things for uh, pancreas. What is the function of pancreas? And what is the function of liver? Here you can see that liver produces bile. The main function of liver, liver is producing bile. And this liver produces bile and give it to gallbladder. The function of gallbladder, the uh, gallbladder store bile. When gallbladder full of the bile, this bile go to the diadenum. And the function of bile, uh, it's go, uh, the function of this bile, um, 
uh, from the, our organism or from our digestive system, this bile collect, this bile go to the diadenium and uh, in our food, if we have a fat, this bile uh, break down this fat to fatty drops. Um, the main function of bile is to break down fat or triglyceride or lipids to fatty drops. Uh, the mostly function of liver producing bile and the function of gallbladder is storing bile. When gallbladder full of the bile, it should give this bile to the diadenium. Uh, next important part in diadenium is the pancreas because pancreas too have a pancreatic juice which uh, go to the diadenium too for the digestion. Uh, in diadenium we have a different process which is important in digestive system. Uh, now we can repeat that in mouse cavity we have organic things, carbohydrates which digest to maltose. In stomach we have uh, proteins and other organic things which digest by pepsin to polypeptide or to peptide. Uh, it's a 10 amino acids. And in next part it's a diadenium. In diadenium we have a, a bile which digest fat to fatty drops. And in pancreatic juice, important one, important organs because in pancreas we have three main enzymes uh, which digest proteins and starch also and fat also. Uh, first of all, in pancreas, we have uh, enzymes like uh, trypsin, uh, lipase, and also uh, pancreatic amylase. What is the function of pancreatic amylase? Pancreatic amylase, uh, uh, the most important things of bile, it's not just the digestion of fat, also it's neutralized all foods from the stomach. When all foods come from the stomach, they are so acid because we have hydrochloric acid in stomach. For that reason, the function of bile from the uh, liver, they neutralize this acidic to the uh, neutral um, environment. Then pancreas have a pH um, 8 because all things should work in pH all enzymes just work in pH 8 uh, and for that reason it's digest uh, for example first uh, enzymes it's a pancreatic it's pancreatic amylase pancreatic amylase digest maltose to glucose maltose disaccharide glucose to monosaccharide now we digest carbohydrates to the monosaccharide and uh, another enzyme is a lipase. We have a fatty droplets, and these fatty droplets should be in, digest by lipase to fatty acid and glycerol, which is monomer two. And third one, it's a uh, it's a trypsin, which digests all peptides to amino acid to the monomer of proteins. Here you can see that in diadenium all organic things digested to small part to their monomers and everything is finished here. All digestion is finished in diadenium by helping of um, by helping of liver, gallbladder and pancreas. Here you can see most important things in pancreas. You can see that pancreas located under the stomach. First of all, we have a digest for proteins. We have uh, enzymes like a trypsin and hemotrypsin, which work in pH 8. Next thing is digest starch, which uh, are digested by pancreatic amylase. And third enzymes, which call it lipase, which digest fat to fatty acids and glycerol. Um, uh, there are pancreas, and you can see that three main important enzymes located in pancreas and uh, will be secreted by pancreas like a pancreatic juice to diadenium. Mm -hmm. uh, next part here you can see liver and gallbladder and everything in my presentation. Liver and gallbladder produce bile which breaks up fats. Gallbladder only stores bile. That's why you can see your gallbladder removed. Sometimes it can be removed because uh, it's not uh, doing a big function, it's just a soul store uh, bile which secretes liver. 
Um, lipase here you can see how, how fatty drops can be digested by lipase and everything uh, all lipids should be break down to fatty acid and glycerol bile there are some function of bile first of all bile neutralize the acid from the stomach second make the small intestine alkaline this third is new, uh, produced produced in the liver stored in go in gallbladder small intestine the important part of the digestive system interesting things how what's happen in small intestine Small intestine is the absorption part of our body. We said that digest, digestion, mostly function of digestion is to uh, digest large molecules to uh, soluble molecules to the, mon to the monomers. Now, till the small intestine, we digest all organic things to the monomers. And in small intestine, we have a, you know, some parts which will be useful to us. Here you can see the structure of small intestine, and there we have uh, some structure which called villi, which called villi, which help to us to, uh, which help to our body uh, to absorb all monomers uh, to our blood. Here you can see that uh, villi. Uh, the important thing that uh, villi has large surface area and it it helps to really absorb a lot of things here you can see the villi in our small intestine inside of villi we have a, a lot of capillars which should uh, absorb all organic things all monomers of organic things to blood and function of blood here you can see the structure of villi there are a lot of capillaries and lymphatic lactyl the function of this blood absorb all organic things and give it to whole our body, transport it to whole our body and uh, lymphatic lactyl should absorb fat. Thin wall. Um, you, here you can see that all villi has thin wall and uh, the function of these cells absorb all organic things. The important part of the digestive system is mostly diadenium because there are a lot of digestion of organic things. First of all, you can see that the stomach, after the stomach, we have a stomach sphincter which can be closed or open. Then uh, we have uh, some food which go to, from the stomach to diadenium. And then we have a liver. In liver, we um, organism produce bile which is green and this bile go to the gallbladder and stored in gallbladder then when gallbladder is full it's gi uh, gallbladder gives this bile to diadenium and uh, we can see the some digestion some breakdowns of the food because we have some small molecules after that we have a pancreas which give uh, digestion uh, juice to pancreatic juice here you can see three color um, green blue and red it means there are three different enzymes trypsin hemotrypsin for proteins lipase for fats then amylase for carbohydrates and everything here you can see that from the stomach we have a complex food but after that, uh, after pancreas, we have uh, nutrients, which is monomers or soluble molecules to our body. Uh, there are some pictures where we have a uh, mouse cavity. There are some pictures where we have uh, all function of different uh, part of our body. Next part, which uh, what's about we want to talk? We said that all organic things will be absorbed in small intestine by villi. Another part of the digestive system is a large intestine or, or colon. What is the function of colon or large intestine? If our body absorb all organic things, what should do colon? First of all, in large intestine, we have absorption of water. Um, or 
the absor uh, absorption of water. Uh, in one day, we our body absorb nine liters of water from digestive juice. And another thing is that everything in large intestine should be absorbed by diffusion. That is all important uh, function of large intestine. Uh, another thing in large intestine we have uh, some bacteria which is, is useful to our mm, body, uh, to organism, to human body. Living in the large intestine we have uh, some community of bacteria. Uh, for, for example, um, they can um, uh, digest some fruits or vegetables and give to us vitamins which is K vitamin and B vitamin. Uh, they produce this kind of uh, this kind of bacteria produce to us vitamins k vitamin and v b vitamin and other things uh, by these bacteria um, in large intestine can be generate some gases and uh, this is an important part too here you can see what's hap what is happened in different part of in different part of digestive system First of all, we want to repeat uh, what's happened in mouth cavity. Break up food. Food is moistened. Kill all microorganisms by mucus. And in mouth cavity, we have uh, some salivary amylase, which digest pro, uh, carbohydrates to maltose. Next important part of digestive system is the stomach. We know that stomach have hydrochloric acid, which kill germs, break up food, digest proteins by pepsin, and store food. Third part of digestive system, it is the uh, diadenium. In diadenium, we have uh, some waste which come from liver. Liver produce bile, give it then to go bladder for store, and this bile break down fats to fatty droplets and in the other we have another way uh, which come from the pancre pancreas and which has pancreatic juice it means pancreatic juice has different kind of enzymes which digest carbohydrates proteins and lipids and we have a small intestine which a function of small intestine absorption of all organic things and the last part of the digestive system, important one, not the last, but maybe, yep, the last maybe part, which participate in absorption of water. Uh, it's a large intestine. But in large intestine, the main function is absorption of water. But another thing, you can see that in large intestine, we have uh, one part, uh, which is important too, which called appendix. Oh, appendix is an important part. Uh, why? Because it's a like a, a connect. Um, it's a like an appendix of the large intestine. Uh, in the it's a axial portion of large intestine. It's a like a it's collect all wasty things from our organisms. When it's full, we have uh, some surgery which. Uh, can get out this appendix from our body. And the function of appendix is the gathering the wasty things. Uh, to our students, we can give different kind of um, different kind of worksheets to about digestive system. First of all, what should know our students? They should know what's happened in different part of digestive system in different digestive organs what's happened with organic things and uh, what is the main function of of our digestive system that everything should go to the blood and blood should give these nutrients to whole body to each cells of our body and another interesting thing is it's um, a student should know that organic what kind of organic things we have and how they should be by what way they should be digested here you can see one worksheet where is where is a different part of the uh, digestive system and they should not, uh, write which is what is what 
what is mm, mouse, what is small intestine, what is liver, what is gallbladder, what is stomach, what is salivary glands, what is pancreas, what is large intestine, it's located. Uh, they should show to us the human digestive system. Another worksheet which we, you can use to our lesson, it is a missing part or gap filling, we call it gap filling, where, where we have uh, different words and students should fill that words by, uh, fill uh, this gap by words. Next um, worksheet which we can use to our lesson, it's about different, there are different statement and students should decide which is true and which is false and should give to us we, we maybe can have some discussion why you think it's a true and why do you think it's a false and they should give to us knowledgeable facts which is important too and the last important worksheet too in digestive system there are different parts of the digestive uh, organs and our students should do matching with their function. Uh, what is the function of each of them? And um, they can know from these things, um, or maybe repeat everything, or we can use such kind of worksheets for the uh, repeating, or we can use uh, before the lesson, before the uh, explanation about digestive system that students can, at the end of the lesson, they can check their answers. Such kind of worksheets is really useful to our lesson and don't forget to give to your students feedback. Uh, next important things which I want to show to you, it's about, uh, it's a video about digestive system. It's mostly interesting and uh, you can use this video to, for conclusion of your lesson because there are different parts of digestive system and you can see different processes which happened in digestive organs. In digestion, food is changed by the organs into a soluble form to be absorbed by the body. Food in the mouth is mixed with saliva. Saliva begins to dissolve the food as the teeth grind and cut it. Food is forced back into the throat, pharynx, by the tongue. Food in the pharynx stimulates the swallowing reflex. The larynx is pulled upward to meet the epiglottis and seal off the trachea. Food goes from the pharynx to the esophagus. Food moves down the esophagus by peristalsis. The peristaltic wave reaches the esophageal sphincter and food enters the stomach. The unique muscular structure of the stomach breaks up the food into small pieces called chyme. Chyme exits through the pyloric sphincter into the duodenum of the small intestine. The major portion of absorption and digestion occurs in the small intestine. The mucosa secrete enzymes that supplement the digestive enzymes of the pancreas and liver. This completes the chemical process of digestion. The walls are covered with villi where nutrient absorption takes place. The structure of each villus contains a capillary and lacteal to pick up the digested nutrients. The nutrients are now transported by the blood to all the cells of the body. The undigested food reaches the ileocecal valve and enters the large intestine or colon. The colon absorbs water, manufactures vitamins, produces mucus, and forms and expels feces. Mass peristalsis pushes the feces into the rectum, which stimulates the defecation reflex. My name is Mahpal Mukhtarana, I'm a biology teacher. And today's lesson was about digestive system. Thank you for your attention.